Yeah, it's a celebration. Uh, well, firstly, you know, getting everybody together. He's been part of the, the JD Academy staff, parents, players, uh, and then our, our Victory Shield um, squad, staff, parent, guardian, players. So a celebration of um, the achievement, firstly, of the players, and um, to reflect back on what's been for the Academy boys, two, two great years of, of hard work, and just for us to say, look, thank you, and basically that we're here for them. You know, once they leave, um, the residential academy, it's, it's not leaving um, the RCFA's pathway um, and, and that we're always here for them. I suppose we'll, 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 we always try and um, you know, showcase our, the lads that have come through you know, with the Callum Marshall, Brody Spencer, Dale Taylor and just use them as um, examples of, of, of how close they are to potentially playing for our, our senior international team and it's actually quite fitting that the European Championships are, are starting here tonight. Uh, um, and we're, what we're, we'll be saying is hopefully these lads are the players of the next generation that can potentially drive us to um, qualifying for these major championships. Yeah, of course it is. You're playing for your country. It's always a different feeling. Um, family, always proud of me. And um, when you put on that jersey, just go and express yourself. I think we can be up there with one of the big teams. Our playing style, just everything we go. We're keeping, you can see in the past, our results. We're up there with the big teams, like our results are showing it. Yeah, as you said there, Michael's bringing in a lot of players. So when you look at it, you can say you can be in there, especially the Euros coming up. It gives you something to work towards. I uh, feel really good. Just felt like the two years ran really well and developed really well. Well, memories will last a lifetime. So, well, you have lifelong mates. You've met for life and the development and just football in general. Just getting the ball. You're more technical, better physically. And this makes it essentially easier outside the academy for club football. No, it just gives you the hunger like, and determination to get where they are essentially because they've done really well in the academy and just went through the ranks and just pushed on. So. Uh, well, it means a lot to me because I've obviously I've went through two, the two years with all my mates and the staff so it means a lot uh, for all of us to come together and celebrate. It's, like, a good, it's a good celebration and it's a good thing to say that you've graduated from the academy so it means a lot to me. Also I have to thank all the staff firstly as what they've done to me is incredible. They've, they've helped me through so much things and also the players. Like, If both the staff and players weren't there, I wouldn't have got through the academy, so it means so much to me and I just want to thank them as well. The message from us for our Victory Shield, um, again, it's, it's the beginning and there's a lot of privilege there and I think players realise now how privileged it is to, to wear the, the green jersey. And um, a lot of, there's only, in terms of squads, you only pick 20 players and only 11 um, on the night. And I know all our, our youth national managers have that um, have that um, conundrum so the very fact that they've made the squad and they've got through it and they achieved a lot is, is a testament to them and it's 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 nice to have you know a lot of times in the football world look with your academy or youth international teams everything's hard work and we're probably lecturing them all the time about you know clean living and, and stuff tonight's just that chance where we can get together and maybe not talk about football and and just enjoy each other's company